A server lineup is only as good as the sum of its lowest score, which, well, you wouldn't have to actually sum anything because only one card can have the lowest score. It's like if a bear was chasing your sofa lineup, your players only have to run as fast as the lowest scoring player adjacent to the bear. I mean, I'm not sure why they're running from a bear in the first place. I, I mean, I'd run from a bear if I saw a bear, but I suppose the question would be how did a bear get in the vicinity of the football pitch in which causing your players to run from said bear. Uh, yeah, this is so rare at lineup building tips, top five, best friend guide. Uh, good time. What the fuck is going on? Tip number one, there's some great sites out there for helping you build your server lineup each game week. You've got server data, you've got to play sharper. So my one piece of advice for you would be to, uh, you know, not use any of these sites. I think using these sites takes away from the art form and the natural gut instinct of selecting your lineup. And you might be thinking, Roy Livy, what if I'm a big dumb fucking lizard with a big old dumb fucking reptile brain? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And to that I would say, don't even think about it. It's fun being stupid. You don't have to worry about nothing. You never have to read books and you're never gonna die. <sighs> yeah. Tip number two, always panic by players and pay over the odds for them an hour or two before the game week deadline shuts. This way you have less time to research a player and avoid what I've dubbed the big, the big so rare, don't, no, no, re no, big, no, rare, no, no research rare brain freeze. What? This is where you scout too many players at once leading to an indecisive brain vector shift of thinking leading to poor decision making and an elevated heart rate. And I've done the research on this. Apparently having a fully functioning heart is important in the steps of not dying. So... You know, you want to keep those stress levels down for sure. Lineups, yeah. Bonus points if you send the trade offer for the player first. Cancel it after 10 minutes of self-induced panic when the manager doesn't respond. And then go and buy another version of the card off the market from another manager out of spite. We've all been there. Don't lie to me. You can't. Tip number three, make sure you stack every single lineup that you own. Bitch. Now stacking is where you group your players up from one specific team. And I'd say that if you even have one player not from that same team, you shouldn't bother entering the tournament. And in fact, you should probably kill yourself. <laughs> hey now, that's, uh, that's a little dark, don't you think? Telling the viewers to, uh, you know, kill themselves. So don't you think that's a bit, bit much? I'm just passionate about stacks because a cracking stacking attack can unpack any defense at the back. In fact, they can rack up some points as a track record that never disappoints. Just bask in the glory that they anoint, you know, <laughs> unless one of your players contracts an injury that impacts their joints. But I digress. Don't stress. Just buy a stack and they'll do the rest. Oh, that was, that was something. That was, um... That was, that was actually quite impressive. Yeah, thank you. I, uh, I had to record that take 17 times. But you so. still told the viewers to kill themselves. Tip number four. You know, it takes a lot of time to select your lineups each week. You know, who to put where, what tournaments to focus on, what scarcity to prioritise. It can be a really drawn out process. Process? Process. That's why I think it's imperative to wait until the last minute to do your Sarah lineups. Because if you wait until the last minute to do something, then it will only take a minute. 200 IQ. Think of all the time I've just saved you. You're welcome. Um. And my final tip, tip number five, the creme de la creme of Sora lineup building tips, so to speak, is to create a YouTube channel to post videos of your lineups every game week. That way, when you fuck up on a regular basis, you'll have kind individuals in the comments saying, Roy Olivi, what the fuck are you doing, you piece of fucking cunt? That guy's suspended. You're such a fucking idiot. He's injured, Roy Olivi. You should fucking, fucking shit your pants, you fucking, you fucking cunt. Not that, like, this has happened to me, it's just like an example in the, in the server sphere. I'm wicked smart, obviously, hence why I'm giving you these 17 tips, because I, I'm good, I'm good at stuff. So yeah, let's all do some server lineups together, we're all gonna win, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get all of the money, and, and then we're all gonna kiss, and we're all gonna have a good old, good old server together. That was, uh, that was a great video, mate. Pretty good stuff. <laughs>